So in this equation, or in this section, we'll look at how to set up an equation and solve it from a word problem. Um, so in module one, page seven, we talked about keywords that you needed to know, and, and those are important to be able to set things up. The word is means equals, and we'll need that also. So in this problem, we're just trying to set up the phrase again, six less than 47, and we talked about this before. Um, less than means that we have to have something there first, so we're gonna write the 47 minus six. So we talked about also in the last chapter that quadruple meant four times. And it's four times what? Well, it says four times the sum. Okay, well the sum means we're gonna add something. So we're taking four times something that's added. So we're gonna need to put some parentheses around it so we have some things that are added. And it tells us what's being added. We have the number and seven. So we're gonna use a letter for this part because we don't know what that is. Now it could be anything. Oftentimes we'll use an N when we say a number. Sometimes we use an X. So we'll have N plus seven. And that's our final answer for this, just expressing it as four times N plus seven. Okay, so again, we're writing an equation here. So this is a misprint, this should be and. So it says the sum of a number and 26. So we'll use n for a number. Sum means we're adding 26. Is means equals, so we'll have equals negative 15. It doesn't want us to solve it, it just wants us to set it up. So that's our answer, n plus 26 equals negative 15. Again, we're writing the equation. It says the sum of, so that means we're gonna add some things together. And, and when it says something like sum or difference, if you look for that word and, it usually tells us what you're adding together. So in this case, we're adding triple a number and seven. Okay, so triple a number, remember triple means three times, and we'll use n for a number, so three times n, sum tells us we're adding seven, is means equals, and then negative nine. Again, it doesn't ask us to solve it, it just wants us to set it up. Okay, so let's look at two word problems here where we have to set it up and solve it. So it says person A and person B just won the lottery worth $7,500. Person A is to receive four times as much as person B because person A bought four times as many tickets. How much will each take from the winnings? So in this problem, we have two people. We have person A and person B. So let's set that up first. We'll do person A is blue and we'll write it down as person A and we'll do person B is purple, and we'll write that down as person B. So it goes on to tell us that person A is to receive four times as much as person B. So let's say B receives X. Then person A receives four times that, which would be four times X, which we write as four X. Now they're getting together the whole thing, the $7,500. So if you take what person A won, which is what we wrote here is 4X, plus what person B won, which is X, then we should get 7,500 or $7,500. And now we need to solve this. So we'll draw our line down through here. This is 1X really, we'll put these together. 4X plus 1X is 5X. Keep our equal sign on top of our line, 75 or 7,500. Then this is multiplication, so we'll divide both sides by five. Leaves me with X over here. And 7,500 divided by five 
equals 1,500, 1,500. So we have to be a little careful though, because what does that really represent? So this says x is 1,500. Remember person B got x. So if person B got x, person B got $1,500. But person A got four times x. So for person A, we have to do four times 1,500. And we get $6,000. So person A, and the question says, we have to make sure we answer the question. The question says, how much will each take from the winnings? So person A will get $6,000. And person B will get $1,000. $500. And those two together are our answer. So let's look at another problem. A serving of cereal A contains seven times the amount of fiber as a serving of cereal B. If you eat a serving of each cereal, you'll consume 16 grams of dietary fiber. Find the amount of dietary fiber in each cereal. So let's start with cereal A. We'll just write down cereal A equals and cereal B equals. A serving of cereal A contains seven times the amount of fiber as cereal B. So we'll call cereal B F for fiber. And A is seven times that, so A would be 7F. Now it says if you eat a, a serving of each of them total, you'll get 16 grams. So that means if we take 7F plus F, we should get 16. So we'll draw our line down here. Remember this is really 1F. So 7F plus 1F is 8F equals 16. We'll do the opposite operation. This is multiplication, so we'll divide by 8 and divide by 8, and we're left with f equals 2. So again, we have to go back and figure out what that means. f was right here, so that's 2. a said 7 times f, which means 7 times 2, which is 14. So to answer this, we'd have to say that cereal a is 14 grams, and cereal B is 2 grams. And those together are our answer.